My name is Paul Randall. I'm a Midwest Outlaw drag racer. Uh, here, sunny Bowling Brook today. Nice weather. Too bad can't be at the track right now, but I'm getting there soon. May 22nd and 23rd. Uh, just want to come out and enjoy the weather. Get some good pictures of the car and answer a couple questions and. Yes, that way right. everybody has an introduction to who I am because I know a lot of people are wondering who I am because I haven't been around very long. Oh, right. So. Right there, Mr. Paul, I see you. There's your ride around when you're at the track. Yep. And uh, how big is this trailer here? This is, this is fairly new, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 2014. It's a 28 foot vintage outlaw. Vintage outlaw? Okay. Yeah. And then okay. golf cart for getting around the track, beats walking, or if something happens, have to pull the car back, which has happened a couple mm -hmm. times. You never know. Better be prepared than, than unprepared. That's right. So, and yeah. you haven't put many miles on this uh, uh, trailer yet, have you? No, I've used it. My car has only been at the track a handful of times last year. I finished the car at the end of September. Uh, I got two good passes, blew an oil cooler or a trans cooler part at Byron. Oh. Uh, luckily, didn't wreck the car. Uh, car strong, mm -hmm. needs fine tuning but it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. Okay. So all right, well let's uh go out and let's everybody see the car. We'll follow you out. Alright. Time to follow you out. Let's go. Alright, so let's go over here and look at the Mustang. Okay. So nineteen ninety one was a street car when I bought it two years ago. Uh it was a nitrous car stock bottom end three fifty one nitrous running a 200 shot uh, launched the hood at route 66 made the glass shape and ever since then I took the car down to a body it was, uh, pretty much a body in a roll cage what year 1991 Okay. I'd say it from February till end of September so about a eight-month project okay and uh, what size slicks is on? 28, 10 and a half. 28, 10 and a half. Yeah, and I got a set of two eight or the 275 Pro radials. Might try those this year too. Oh. So this car moves around on a short wheelbase oh. quite a bit on the big end. Oh, okay. And uh, got the parachute. Yes. How fast have you been in it so far? Uh, can't really say too too much, but. Well, let's let's take a look inside this race car and maybe you can kind of explain some things to us. Okay. This is the uh, air to water intercooler. Uh, boost, well hot air from the supercharger comes into here. Ice goes from a tank to the back of the car in these two lines. It's okay. like a refrigerator or a radiator coil, something similar in there. Okay. Hot air comes in here. The cold air, after it's cooled, goes up behind the dash into the back uh, or through the firewall into the engine. Uh, that's the Big Stuff 3, the EFI system I use. Oh, okay. uh, I'm learning the ropes of it. Mm -hmm. have a guy by the name of Brian Kosnick helping me out learn it a lot. Uh, okay. The ignition box is just pretty much used to fire the coil at this point mm -hmm. and for my air shifter. Uh, everything, all my timing, uh, I do through my Big Stuff 3. Oh, okay. And as the, uh, the uh, parachute uh, yep. to deploy it. Yeah, try and get it somewhere where if you're panicking in the car <laughs> sideways, you can reach, you can reach up and just up slap it. Yeah, because oh, okay. the parachute will straighten you out most of the time. All right, let's, uh, let's take a peek at that okay. monster motor you got there. Hey, Susie. Hey, Paul. Let's talk a little bit more about the motor. Uh, motor is small block Ford. Uh, not not in the hide. And, yeah, not a Chevy, not an LS. Forward. Yeah, Ford. Yeah, uh, Ford. 351 base, tall deck. Uh, okay. 414 cubic inch with an F1R Pro Charger. Might try an F1X once I get used to the power and the power management. Oh, okay. but for the time being, an F1R is plenty enough for me. Yeah. Uh, pretty much 10 to 1 compression, C16 race fuel. Uh, that's about it for the most yeah. part. Nice set of heads. Yeah. Yeah, good bottom end. That way I don't bend a rod or anything. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, uh, you just not uh, bringing the car out. Uh, you came out last year. And uh, you built it all yourself, right? Yep. Uh, 
came out the end of September. Uh, did everything in this car myself other than the roll cage, just because I, I can weld, but I'd rather put my life in somebody else's to, you know, leave that to the professionals. <laughs> but uh, plumbed it, wired it. Uh, me and my buddy Paul Wallen was a big help getting the car together. Uh, you know, and a couple others. I'm sure I'm forgetting names, but it, right. it was more or less Friday night, come over, have a couple of drinks and yeah. hang out in the garage till three, four in the morning. Yeah. Numerous weekends. Okay. So beautiful car. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yeah. And we're gonna see a lot of it at the track this year. We'll look at the driver's door here. Nice roll cage. So I think how many man hours you figured? It, just estimate. I would say, to be honest, somewhere in the 250 to 300. Man, probably, wow. yeah. The the time consuming was wiring. That I, that sticks out in my mind. Mm -hmm. The most hours put in it, just because everything's on a safe circuit. Like I have my trans brake running off my intercooler pump. That way, I can't go on the trans brake if the intercooler pump's not on, so I can't hurt the motor. Okay. A lot of systems I wired in redundant, so mm -hmm. if I had a brain fart, I'm not going to hurt anything. Okay. You know, my uh, line locks ran off another circuit that's a safety circuit. That way, my line lock won't work if I don't have that system activated. And, okay. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's. The longest part's trying to figure out what you're going to do and where you're going to do it. Because, I, I mean, there's been times I've been pretty pretty lucky. I put the car together one time. I didn't change things through the process. I kind of knew where I was going. Mm -hmm. uh, tried to get in where I could fit in. Uh, so I didn't have to change too much during the course of the build. But okay. the wiring, there was things I wired that I didn't like. I redid. Oh, so that, that kind of took. Then you're digging in the whole main harness. and. Right. But everything's on GM. I mean, I can pull every wire out of this car with the uh, GM quick oh, splite, you know, okay. the uh, weather tight connectors, everything's right. done in. So. Good. Yeah. Has it scared you yet? Oh, yeah. I've <laughs> had uh, the crap scared out of me more than once, yeah. especially at Byron. Luckily, I had a uh, trans cooler burst, and oh. lucky for me it happened on launch, not 100 feet out. If it would have been 100 feet out, I don't think you'd be filming this car today. <laughs> okay. I, you know, it'd, it'd be probably the shape of a U. Right yes. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I got lucky there. Big time. And uh, the big improvements at uh, US 41 this year, that should bring a lot of drivers out. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. Can't wait. I was hoping yeah. they would have been open, but I understand they're doing so much, you can't rush something like no, that. No, uh-uh. I've seen a uh, just posted today on Facebook. Uh, it'll be open on the tenth. They laid the asphalt the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, too bad I got to work. Otherwise, I'd be there. <laughs> so. Yeah. Beautiful car. Thank you. All right. Find a small block monster. <laughs> Thank you, Al, for giving me the opportunity to do this. Oh, it's no problem at all. I'm glad you're here so we uh, can showcase a lot of the hard work you guys put in these cars. I love watching them run down the track. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see you a, a whole lot this summer. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I plan on it. I know my work schedule is kind of hectic at times. Oh, yeah, but you'll get some days out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And this is actually a uh, uh, not a swappable Chevy in the Ford. This yeah. Is a Ford in the Ford. I know it's even rare now. Yeah. Nobody, everybody, yeah. LS. Yeah. Screw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So I st st try and stick to what I know. Yeah, so. really Yeah, but I okay. uh, can't wait for the season to start. Yeah. So, good times. Okay. All righty, Paul, I want to thank you. All right. Well, thank and, you for uh, having me. We're going to make sure we film you a whole lot at the track this year. Okay. Any garage races set up so far? Uh, I got a couple. Yeah. A couple lined up so far. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Trying to. A lot of guys, apparently, April, end of April is the month where most people take their cars apart for some reason. I don't know why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, all in due time, like I said, 41 will be the place to be. Yeah, it'll be the place to be. New track? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, like to, you know, like I said, a couple guys helped me with this. Mm -hmm. you know, Paul Wall and Brian Kosnick helped me learn big stuff, three to tune it myself. So, okay. yeah, that's all about right. it for the most part. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to get started here in a minute with the photo shoot. And uh, so now, as soon as I'm out of here. Okay. Let's go back over. Uh, we'll just talk about the size of the motor. Uh, 414 cubic inch small block Ford, nine and a half deck, oh, okay. 351 base. Oh, uh, right. Roughly 10 and a half to one. It's got a Power Glide two speed transmission, 180 first gear, 355 rear gear. Oh, okay. Might be changing that, change it out for different uh, running the quarter or the eighth. Oh, okay. uh, rear ends braced. Okay. Pretty much uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple. Simple for the main part. Oh, other right. than Any the other additional chassis work done to it? Uh, rear end's braced. It's got uh, all tubular adjustable suspension. Oh. Uh, baseline upper, uh, baseline outlaw, upper control arm mount, baseline lowers, oh. uh, whole outlaw kit. Uh, I seem to like it. You can change your instant center almost infinitely. Mm -hmm. It comes with two sets of plates. You can change it. Uh, co inboard coil over stock suspension car, pretty much. And the uh, your boost pressure and everything is uh, adjustable through the uh, laptop settings, right? Well, that's the the fuel trims mm -hmm. and the timing. Uh, boost you really can't just RPM limited. Oh. So if the car starts coming up hard on a wheelie, you just grab second gear, short shift it. Oh. Uh, that's the thing. Pros and cons versus turbo blower. Mm -hmm. uh, the blower, you can't really control your boost other than timing. Uh, you pull too much timing, you can hurt the motor. You swear your fillings fall out of your teeth. It shakes so hard. Uh, that or RPM. That's about all you can do. Yeah, there's not really any aftermarket boost controllers. I know some guys have tried an AMS 1000. Uh, I believe they put it in the intake pipe, the waste gates. Oh, but I don't. They didn't do it for long, so I don't think it worked. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so pretty much RPM and pulley size. I have in a trailer on any given day. I got a ton of pulleys oh, okay. for track conditions. And so far, just throughout the Midwest, uh, as of now, I know 41 is coming up with it. And redone the track there. Yep. So far, what has been your, your favorite track to uh, run the car down? Honestly, I like 41 a lot. It's close yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, people are pretty friendly, especially with the new updates. I'm kind of excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure everybody is. Uh, yeah. It'll be a good time. Okay. I'd say that that's probably be my main home track. Oh, so. okay. So any other tracks in the Midwest that you've uh, raced down that you like? Uh, I haven't been out too, too much with this car done. Mm -hmm. uh, Michigan's pretty good. Okay. I want to go to Sykeston. The only thing about Sykeston makes me nervous is the lanes. From pictures, the lanes look very narrow. Oh. And small tire cars on stock suspension never seem to go. They seem to go everywhere but straight. It seems. Awesome. So yeah. That's the vibe I always got. Oh, okay. You know, it's an uphill fight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty, Mr. Paul. And I think we might get wrapped up here. I think I probably got enough footage. Okay. And uh, I'll. Uh, when you get ready, we ain't no rush. When you get ready to put the car up, I'm going to film you as soon as you put it back on the track. Okay.